I, I was teaching, I think two Thursdays ago, in a prayer meeting. Jude, Jude, verse 20. Jude 20. I want to show you something. Look at it. It says, But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. It says, You, building yourself on your most holy faith, doing what? Praying in the Holy Spirit. It says, Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. He says, you beloved, building yourself on your most holy faith. And then he tells you how to do it. How do you do it? It's by praying in the Holy Ghost. Then he says, keep yourselves in the love of God. Keep yourself in the love of God. Now already, God, how do you keep yourself in the love of God? It means keep yourself in the word of God. Because you see, God is love. Right? Right? God is what? Love. Then the Bible says in John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Praise God. So, God and Word. God is His Word, and he, His Word is love. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, when He says, Keep yourself in the love of God, He's saying, Keep yourself in the Word of God. Now, how do I keep myself in the Word of God? How do I keep myself in the love of God? For example, God said something to Joshua. He said, Look, you're going to take these people into the land. You're crossing this Jordan, and then you're going to go into that land. Of course, he's going to be the one leading you. But then he told him something. He says, all I need from you is to be strong and very courageous. Now then, if he's saying all he needs me to do is to be strong and to be courageous, and then he's telling me that I'm following this path, and I'm going on that path, because that's where he's leading me. And then I see things that will frighten me. What's supposed to be my response? Now that's when I'm supposed to display courage and strength. Are you following me? Are you following me? That's when I'm supposed to display what? Courage and strength. Now remember he says no one will be able to stand before you. God said that. Is he telling him to go and fight with his own power? No. God never calls a man to fight with his own power. The moment you see you're fighting with your own power, just relax, just withdraw. Just know that this is not the right battle. But God always wants you to show face in the battle. And I believe Joshua understood what God meant. That's why Joshua was too strong. One day he saw an angel standing with his sword drawn. <laughs> Joshua said, say, who's this one? The Bible said he ran to him and said, are you for us or for our enemies? <laughs> he didn't say, man, who's this witch guy like this? <laughs> he said, God, what are we not going to see in this battle? <laughs> no, he ran to him. says, hold on, are you for us or for our adversaries? And the angel said, I'm not for anybody. <laughs> As the captain of the Lord, so I have come. And he said, ah, what do you want me to do, sir? <laughs> but, but he was too courageous. He was ready to take on that angel. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? He was ready because he knew God told him to do something. Be strong and very, so don't cower. Don't see anything and run. Don't see anything and be scared. Follow, get to the end, you'll see the hand of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he says, go back to Jude. He says, building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourself in the love of God. Keep yourself in the word of God. Now the, 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 the journey, listen, the journey today, we're not on a physical journey like, jo like Joshua, leading the children of Israel from one you know, place to the other. But today, see, Listen, you know, I taught you yesterday. Jesus said we should pray that the kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is written in heaven. Now, today, 
we are dwelling in the word of God. We are dwelling in the kingdom of God because we're born in the kingdom of God. Right? Right? Galatians told us that he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his son. So we are in that kingdom now. So we are born, we're born inside the kingdom of God. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? But you see, we also have a responsibility to bring that kingdom to this earth. You need to understand this. To bring that kingdom to this earth. Listen. Listen. In 2020, every one of you, your families will respect God because of you. Amen. Did you hear me? I said your families. When I say your family, I'm not talking about your immediate family. I'm not talking about you and your children. I'm talking about where you came from. 